Good evening guys this is Maya welcome back to my YouTube channel today in this video we are going to learn how to make curved forms of linear profiles in the dialogs evo something like this one in this tutorial we will not only be learning about how to make this type of luminar positioning in the dialog but i will also show you how to edit the is files so that we can properly position it watch this tutorial until the end so you don't miss out any important steps let's get started the first thing before you position this type of luminous is you need to check for the brand you want to use and which brand is providing this type of luminous for that we will be referring intra lighting in intra lighting you have this luminous which is tracker the curved pattern so plus you can make any type of shapes using this one maximum of times this is fully customizable but uh, there could be any fixed forms which your manufacturers provide and you can use the same pattern in your designs as well like for example if you go to the intra lighting here this is tracker ri and if we go for configure if we go to the standard modules you have luminary type this is 45 lr 90 and this is curved up and down these are angles 45 degree and 90 degree using this angles if you click here see this is the shape of the angle and if we click on 90 this angle and this is straight linear okay using this different modules you can make a curved pattern okay or else you can make your own design and customize it if you have an option of customization for now i will consider the same profile but let's make some random shape firstly we need the is file so you can go to the linear itself you can specify the length you need for now we'll keep it smallest length we have you can choose your specs once you are done you will click here and you will generate the code as per your specs then you will click on is files download see is files are downloaded you will extract the is files these are my is files and they have also enclosed a pdf and so they drawing let's check what is this drawing about okay this is clearly detailed if it is lr45 these are the angles for the pattern you need to make you can choose this one and for lr90 it is more smooth curve and this is the track linear so using these standard modules you can make your own design like say for example if i'm using this one Control c Control v here and uh, say whatever the length you need based on your space you will select that one you got the pattern and from there you can again use something like this depending on your design see there is a pattern this form so using their standard modules you can create a pattern like this and use it in your design let's see some of the references which they have made and this is the data sheet in the data sheet if you see there are more project images where they have followed this curved pattern of the ceiling itself this is beautiful conference rooms then here here the free flow of design they have followed the pattern of the ceiling itself that's nice integrated with the columns from the ceiling see the best part of using such luminous is how beautifully it blends with the architecture these are few of the examples now let's go to the, our dialogues we'll go to the plan view if you have standard modules like this one with intra lighting first you need to create it in your autocad itself and get that pattern in the dialogs for now here in the project i will show you both the ways first i will draw my own pattern and show you second i will use the same autocad file which we have here and uh, get it in the dialogs so for the first one to draw the pattern you need to go to your helplines choose curved reference line for now let me just draw some random pattern here in the curved form i'm just placing the points to create a pattern once you're good with this design right click and end see this is one type of pattern i have made if you want to adjust you can adjust the points we need to position our files is files in the same pattern for that we have already downloaded the is files here it is but here they have given us complete set of is files okay though we 
did some configuration choose the IS files which best suits your requirement here l95 okay this is basically the length this is only 0.95 mm they have mentioned it as mm and these files 950 mm and this is 4750 mm if you want to position your is files in a curved pattern always choose the is files with the lesser length okay so let's go with l95 is here 95 mm i will choose this one i'll go to the dialogs light open luminar list import luminar choose the is files from your folder open next length of housing is 0.095 the light output is also 0.095 that's very lesser length of the is file which is good we need the lesser length itself in the height for now you can reduce it to 0.001 next no changes finish okay then place individual luminar you will keep your is file selected go to copy and arrange copy along existing reference line and click on your reference line after that this will appear it shows you what should be the distance between two luminaires either you can give the distance or you can increase the quantity in the distance you can reduce it to 0.1 follow curve shape and keep it 90 degree if you are not sure if you have to keep the rotation to 0 or 90 no problem first keep it on 0 and check if it is not proper repeat the step and keep it to 90 okay let's keep it 90 apply see my is files are properly positioned there is some gap in between because i kept the distance between the two luminaires as 0.1 okay that is the distance from luminaire to luminaire as 0.1 okay when you keep the distance it's it's not this gap it's actually the gap between this luminaire to this luminaire so what we will do if you feel this gap is too much you will just go back Control z you will select your luminaire copy along existing reference line click on your reference line then last time we kept 0.1 let's make it 0.09 enter follow curve shape 90 degree apply let's check in our 3d this is your linear profiles placed curved form which you have drawn okay this is recessed in the ceiling but if you want it suspended you need to draw the aluminium channel for this profile how we will do that we'll go to the plan view go to the construction go to the objects draw extrusion body and you will trace the channel for this profile how we are going to do that you're just going to follow your IES files. First point, second point. Don't place too many points. Just good enough to have that smooth curve pattern. See this one, if I turn like this, it will be difficult for me to make the object. So I will close it from here. I will draw that one as a different section. Once done, close polygon. Take in 3D. See, this is your channel. Let's complete the whole channel. We have finished drawing this part. We will draw this part. Draw extrusion body. Close polygon okay so we have finished this part this part now let's draw this part as well and done close polygon close polygon now let's check the profile we have finished drawing with extrusion volume now you can select all hold the shift key to select all the group it okay you can reduce its 
size. I will keep it 0.1 for now. Now choose the move tool. Bring it to the top till where you want to suspend. Let me keep it at 3 meters. Okay. Apply some texture to my channel. Replace material. Channel is done. We will select our IS files. Select the move tool. Go to the side views. This is your IS files. If you're not able to see it properly, switch on the LEO alignment and properly position it exactly below your channel like this one. Okay, now switch off the LEO alignment and this is your suspended linear profile curved pattern. If you want to add some hang some strings, it, you can use some vertical cylinder, reduce its diameter and place it. Let us keep it 0.003, a little bit thicker. Apply some texture to that. See, proper. You can position on the other end as well. We have finished the construction. To hide this reference lines, you can go to the display options and click on here, show reference lines. Okay, now let's run the quick calculations. Calculation is completed and you can see the effect perfect. Let us make even a quick render. Go to the ray tracer, increase the resolution and start ray tracing. Render is completed and this is the render. Look at the effect perfect. Nice. Now, I also told you in the beginning of this video that you you have to first create the form in your AutoCAD, get your AutoCAD file in the dialogs, trace the pattern and place the IS files. In case you have to get it in the AutoCAD, how you are going to do is go to the construction. I will use the same file. Let me check the units of this file before importing. It's in millimeters. Okay, back to the dialogs. See this curved pattern linear profiles. If you have furniture in the background, then it's difficult to draw it accurately. So what you can do is you can just move your furniture away from your file till you place the IS files and then you can get back your furniture. Now I will select this IS files. Go to copy and arrange. Hold the shift key and select everything and group it. When you group it, and you want to move, you can move the 3D model, the object and the IS files together. Okay, let us position it here. Get the CAD file, go to the construction, load plan. This is our file, open, next, it is in millimeters, finish. See the file is here, I will just move plan, move from here to here. It's not positioned properly here, so let me just rotate to some degrees. Once you are done, you will move it accurately, position it properly. See so this one is only for a reference. Okay, it's not a proper curved pattern or a design. It's only for the reference that you have to first make a form you need in AutoCAD and get your AutoCAD here and position accordingly. The next step after you position the AutoCAD file is go to the helplines. This was the previous reference line which we have drawn. Delete this one and we will select draw curving reference line and draw the lines point voice we just need to get that proper shape as per our drawing once you have done right click and end now we will switch off our autocad files in the back now here we got the is files of very small length that is only 0.1 meters but in case when you download the IS files of 1 meter, it's impossible to create a curve pattern with the IS files of 1 meter or more than that. Okay, so you have to reduce the size of the IS files. How you will do that? Let us consider this one, L950mm. We will select this one, place it on the desktop, then open LDT editor. If you don't have the LDT editor, go to the dialogs or just type LDT editor for dialogs and you will get it here. From here, you can just click download and install. It's free to use LDT editor. Open the LDT editor, load the file, select this one LDT IES all LDT IES files. Click on all so that whatever the files are there that is visible. I want to choose this one. Open. In the general information, you can see all the data regarding your luminaire. Okay, then if you click on luminaire, 
Here are the dimensions. Length of the luminaire is 950 mm. Here is the units, 950 mm. So you have to reduce this 950 mm, 100 mm, okay? Because the smaller the IES file is, the easier it is for us to place it in a curved pattern, okay? So we will change this 950 to 100. Change only the length, not the width of the luminaire, okay? Then length of the luminous area too, you will change from 950 to 100. Width will be same. Then no changes in any of other details here. Only the length of luminar and length of luminar's area. Then you will go to the lamps and this is the very important part we need to modify. Now here we need to do a simple math. Previously the length of the luminar was 950 mm, right? And when length was 950 mm, the voltage was, the power, it was 22.7. When the length was 950 mm, the voltage was 22.7 watts. Now you have reduced the length to 100 mm. So for 100 mm, you need to calculate what is the voltage. It's simply a cross multiplication like this. That is x equal to 22. 0.7 that is 22.7 into 100 mm divided by x will go here right x into 950 so if x is here 950 will go to here now do this math 22.7 into 100 divided by 950 that is 2.3 so x is equals to 2.3 watts okay 2.3 so we will change it here 2.3 color rendering in index you have to check your data sheet and give it the value for now we'll keep it 80 color temperature we are using 3000 kelvin luminous flux also you have to calculate the same way you calculated the voltage for 950 mm the luminous flux was 3350 lumens then for 100 mm, how much is the lumens? Again, a simple cross multiplication and division. X is equals to 3350 into 100 divided by 950. Let's calculate that. 3350 into 100 divided by 950. That is 352 lumens. So here, X is equals to 352 lumens. We'll go to our LDT editor and we will change it that's all we will click on save as go to the desktop and you can name your is files properly as per the code or for now we will just name it as linear profile 100 mm okay and save it let's go to our dialogs open luminar list import luminar go to the desktop see this is my is files which i have edited in the ldt editor and now it is ldt file open place it see now it is only of 100 mm. Now you want to position it in this curved pattern. So you will select this. Go to copy and arrange. Copy along existing reference line. Distance between the luminous. Keep it 0.1 for now. Follow curve shape 90 degree and apply. See it is properly positioned. Delete this extra luminar. Now check in your 3D. See you got that curved pattern form of your profile. Now this looks like a surface luminar. If you want to make it look like a suspended, you can give it some suspension height. Or if you want to make it look like a recessed, you can go to the side views and position it properly such that this appears as a recessed profile. Okay. And coming to this project, all these objects which you see here, all these are Dialogs 3D models and you can find them on my website sumayalias.com. My website has free 3D models of Dialogs. So it's DXOBJ. If you go to the 3D models, you have your retail. These are the different 3D models which you have. Whichever you feel goes well with your application, you can select Add to Cart and Download. That's it. Let's run the quick calculation and check the result calculation is completed and look at that the one which we drawn with reference to the autocad and the one which we made as a free form so this is it guys in this video if you found this video helpful please do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you